right, y'all, we are going to talk about annotation today. It's going to be a real fun, quick conversation. So first of all, annotation is a noun or a verb. It's kind of an interesting word. I had to kind of ad lib my dictionary definition for the verb, but that's okay. So number one, annotation is a noun, meaning a note of explanation or comments added to a text or diagram. Excuse me. Sorry about that. My dog was being a not very kind puppy. So let's just start over. All right. So our dictionary definition is going to be for a noun, a note or explanation of explanation or comment added to a text or diagram. And that means these little things you can sort of see if I can move the bubble. These little notes that the person has put in these margins, right? Or these, these single highlights. That's the one thing you are writing. Then it can also mean a verb to write notes or explanations or comments to a text or diagram, on a text or diagram. So you see that, right? So all of this as a whole to annotate, to make these annotations is to add things. Then the paraphrase definition. So this is my words. These are how I like, this is how I like to think about Annotation. So annotation is to mark up the text. This can be comments hi and highlights, but it has to be strategic. And I said that, y'all, because we don't need to look at this paragraph and just highlight it with yellow highlighter and be done. I've been asking in class for you to like highlight pathos green and highlight ethos red and those are not the colors we use but that's fine you know i want you to annotate for a specific thing not just highlight everything because that's a waste it's not helpful you need a strategy so it's a strategic thing highlight every piece of ethos you see in a text highlight character traits you find in a text you could highlight the indirect character traits in green and highlight the direct character traits in yellow. Whatever works for you. All right, then a real world explanation. <sighs> Annotation is one of those things that's, I mean, we don't do it outside of the academic world unless you're a nerd. So I wrote a silly little story about me. And I wrote this sort of the perspective of a teach, like a student watching me. So like if I were, if we were in a traditional classroom, you could see me very often like hunched over the lunch table annotating my like grad school work. Okay, so Miss Withers annotates constantly. Every day I look over and she's bent over her book, scribbling with her flare pens, making her marking her thoughts, ideas, and doodles. So this is an example of annotation in the wild you know this is this is annotation and then my visual representation i wanted to add i really wanted to like do some actual annotation for you but i've done that a lot in our close reading videos so instead i just plopped this cool picture down here and you can see it better in the google slide that i'm gonna post but you can see that this person has strategically highlighted some things in blue, yellow, and red. They've written things. We don't know what their directions were, so we don't know what they were looking for. But we do know that they're making purposeful notes and annotations. So that's what you need to do next time you're needing to annotate. All right, y'all. I hope this has been helpful, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.